Alright, so this is how the game starts. Like, brand new. Me having no idea what the fuck's going on. Oh shit. Was smart. Punch! Kick! That's all it took? Tell wow. Me, Nemesis, do you recall the Red Canyon? You'll die! <gasps> die! Die! You took everything that I loved! You took my five dollars. He's gone now, mother. Oh god, the context. Yeah, that's the opening. <laughs> like, you have no fucking clue what's going on. What do you want? What could have brought you here? I own this place. Nah, we are doing this again, huh? I wonder how you got in here. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. Very rude indeed. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. Just get closer and just like Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? <laughs> do not deceive. You would do well to keep your wit in line. Why you gotta be so serious? I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Boy. Go on. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Well, wonder 
years never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Hmm. It all feels so... familiar. I think it may be time for... yet another nap. <sighs> it is almost time to... Lazy ass. Yeah, when it's... Well, I can't say that. I feel bad. With the context of it all now. Hey, time to wake up. Were you having that dream again? Gerald, oh my god. I, 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 it was a long ass dream. It was this handsome fucking man in gold and from Almira and... And then you died, and uh, I mean, if I said this, I'd, I'd anywhere else I'd go to jail. So, massive armies clashing on a vast field, right? Oh, there hasn't been a battle like that in over three centuries. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Thanks, Dad. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? <laughs> We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? Well, yeah, when they it's see true. three dumbass they kids. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives. Come on! Not to mention our gold. <laughs> I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. Fucking bothering me, I'm trying to sleep. I have to save their asses now. Oh, you're throwing him in like that, Let's huh? take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. Yes, Dad. Oh, God. Tutorials. Oh, my God. <laughs> Aside from, I think, this chapter and the whole side story for, uh... The Ashen Wolves... Uh, like, I don't think you ever play with them ever again together. I'll cut through. Go, Dimitri. Ready and willing. I will prevail. Oh. Failure is not an option. Stay focused. Thank you. We are in your debt. It wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Please, lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. You have a strange aura about you. You say you're a mercenary, so show me what you can do. It's because of you guys that I'm not dead right now. Thanks for that. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. So what you're saying is using forest gives me cover. Yes, good. If we 
Yeah. Opportunity. It's the combat arts I taught you. Use them. You fought well. Definitely not Edo Guard. <laughs> Damn. Oh shit, did he hear Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. Is there a chest somewhere? Wait, why did they show me that? Of all things, why would it show me that? Is there a chest somewhere that I'm missing? Imagine. Keep coming. Oh, guy, Gerald, kick his ass. Back to it. Of course, you were all the way over there. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. Call it length attack. Witness my power. Hey, there you go with the level up, Edo Guard. That won't do it all. That will not do it all. <laughs> that was pretty horrible, actually. Dare you call my stare a blank one? Another step forward. Actually, looks pretty blank to me. <laughs> Shit, he got me there. Bullshit. Edelgard, get out of there! Such a stupid character, man. Oh, is this what death is like? Honestly, what are you accomplishing with oh god, this stuff? girl's here again. It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Bullshit. Of course not. <laughs> she was hot. Well then, 
I guess it's up to me to talk from now on, right? You can call me Sothis, but I'm also known as the Beginning. How do you know that? Hmm, Sothis. Yes, that is it. My name is Sothis, and I am also called the Beginning. But who once called me that? The uh, Dunkin' Donuts guy. I was not able to recall my name until just now. <laughs> and just like that, it came to me. How odd. <laughs> Could imagine just writing that in a Starbucks cup. All right, you want me to call you what again? The the beginning. I'll I'll write that down on the cup. The beginning. Asshole. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? You forgot, not me. Phooey! That child just saved your life. And what does that make you? I'm less than a child. I'm no child. <laughs> Such arrogance. You look the part, but aren't you truly an adult? You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Um, like I said, she's cute. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. Hmm, I do not hear your gratitude. Perhaps I should force you to leave? You're in my conscience. <laughs> there now, is gratitude so much to ask? <laughs> I did deem you worth saving after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. I can't have that. I'm proud of you to drag me into this. Axe hurt. Now what to do? I'll just stay here and wait to die. Keep time frozen until I'm safe. <laughs> As though I could stand idly by and watch that come to pass. Oh, but perhaps. Of course. I must turn back the hands of time. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. The goddess always... Wait, wait, wait. What does that say? There's something written there. Living beings as support of all... I never read that before. There's actually words. I thought there was just fucking hieroglyphics. The goddess always lives in heaven and Fodlin. The goddess always lives in heaven and Fodlin. Living beings as support of all... I can't read that. Beginning over the mother's hook. I never knew that. Interesting. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go. Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. Oh, yeah, it's a lot clearer now. Oh, I thought that said yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Some of it's pretty uh unclear. You just No, you didn't see anything. The Knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Hey, the thieves are running away. Go after them. 
The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Ah, uh, why him? <laughs> That's my expression too. Every time I see someone I've not seen in years. Ugh. Ugh. Captain Gerald, it is you. Goodness, it's been ages. It's been. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself, anyway. Oh, it must have been twenty years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois. Just as loud as ever. Hmm. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary, one who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garig Mach Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? I can't... I can't lie. Is that so? Well, physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. <clears throat> I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? Hmm. <sighs> What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Ah, you again. Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. Appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Gerald, the Bladebreaker? Former captain of the Knights of Saros. Oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? Wow, you know your you've done your fucking homework. You haven't heard of the Knights of Saros? The most famous order of knights in all of Fodlan. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garigmach Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. <laughs> Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Yikes. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. <laughs> that, this is when I was starting to like him. Because I knew he was not of royal compared to Dimitri and Edelgard. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. The embodiment of distrust. I have to use that. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also uh. the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The you just Holy met Kingdom the guy. Vargas is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Whoa, there. So needy. I'm sure are hasty. 
Tasty and needy. You just met. You're right? Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. Thank you, Claude. This is exactly how I want to be manipulated. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. <laughs> A wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. You can say that again. Yeah, she is. <laughs> yes, I thought the same. Oh, I am so sleepy once again. Oh, I may be sleeping, but I... Part one. White clouds. Great tree moon. Three houses. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fogelin, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fogland, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king or Bunch of or emperor, party animals, the Lester, Alliance. the Lester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. They really are the smallest of the, uh, of the rest. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. Oh, this place again. There it is. Garrick Mock Target. The best store ever. Why, 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 why? Hey, pay attention. <laughs> hey, she gotta keep her eyes. She gotta keep her eye on the students. Students would be wandering with their eyes. Ray is here. Oh, well, why wouldn't she be? Oh, God, that stare. I 
wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... Dad, you've been here before? You didn't tell I've me? I've never spoken of this to you before, but... Many years ago, I was a knight here. I reported to the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. <laughs> oh, so, he's so negative about it. So funny. A ridiculously large religious organization. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. I feel like I just... We, we were just... Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder... Was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? God. Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? So hear me out. My name is... Da Da Da. You must at least show the basic courtesy of telling us your name. Do you not think you are being a bit rude to the Archbishop? And don't you think your so your 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 beard is tacky? It is all right, Sedith. My dear, I am called Rhea. I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. In truth, I was only being polite. I already know your name. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers Academy. It's gonna be a short one. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. What did she say? Ah, I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. Oh, I'm sorry I dragged you into this. No, like Gerald, I'm sorry I dragged us into this again. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. I must work here? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officer's Academy. Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Aloise professor. went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. Oh. Uh, My, how stern and handsome you are. It feels like yes, it only feels like yesterday that we had a tea time together, Manuela. Oh. Uh, and it went totally bad for me, but for you it went totally good because that's the way you wanted it. Oh, I don't even want it. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm not. This is gonna be a completely you. different route. You can handle things from here. Good luck, and watch out for Lady Rhea. Oh, it's you then. So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated. As you well know, I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officers' Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. Uh, physician? My leg! Again, my leg doesn't- my leg. <laughs> I look too pretty for that line of work, do I? But yes, when I'm not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. Everything I say is not a compliment. If you're ever lonely, please do come and pay me a visit. 
I would love to. To what? To what? To what? Spare our colleague the needless chatter. It better be platonic. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> it's just how Manuela is. She's very... She's a professor here. She's like, I think, 40. I expect you haven't yet been Years briefed old. on the nature of each. Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. I like her voice, though. Whoever the voice actor is for Manuel is spot on. The Officer's Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. That's the one I'm picking. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our... I have made my decision, Sedith. This is why I hated him. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. Yes, flesh and blood. I made him myself. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? What's, what's his favorite type of music? What does he like to eat? Shut up! I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith. By God, I hate your guts. I went from love, yeah, I went from well. loving this dude until I'm just like, oh, here we go again. And more importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church. Especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mock. I have bad news for you, Ray. I'm sorry. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Well, yeah, there's royal blood, like... Royal... Uh, uh, how can it... Uh, his... Uh, said it... Uh, his... Sister... Flane is in the in the church, too. He's just... He's, he's just being a dumbass. There's always about one character. He's like Palpatine. Wait, no, he's not like Palpatine. I'm sorry, no. He's not a Sith Lord. I'm trying to think. He's like Muzu. He's like Muzu from Breath of the Wild. There you go. Chancellor Fish... Or Chancellor Zora. 